Hello and welcome to Adatus' Global Insurance Sales Monitoring Showcase. In the global online marketplace, it is critical to monitor the conversion of digital customer prospects into leads and then subsequently those leads into sales. With this solution, you can do just that. So without further ado, let's have a look. So this first report is centered around trying to convert a potential prospect into a lead. So what have we got? Well, if you look over on the far left, you can see that we've got a bar chart which is showing the number of prospects and the number of leads over time. So for example, if we look on the 14th of July, we can see that there was 679 prospects and 162 leads. Just to the right of that, we've got a funnel chart, which also displays the number of visits to the website. And if you cast your eyes downwards, you can actually see the all important numbers and figures. And actually, if you follow them clockwise, you can actually follow the journey of a customer. And right at the very bottom, we've got a map. And this actually displays where all the prospects are all over the world and the bigger the blob the more prospects there are within that country at the very center of the report you can actually see the leads broken down by referrer type finally in the bottom left you can see that the conversion rate from prospect to lead has now been broken down by the last touch channel now like any power bi report the real value comes into it when we start to drill down and have, have a bit of a play around. So instead of looking at it from a global perspective, if we instead decided we wanted to look at the country with the most prospects, which in this case is the largest blob, therefore United Kingdom, well then the story completely changes. So for example, if we look back over at the conversion rate, Email, which was the most successful conversion rate at 36%, has dropped down to 22%. Whereas the referrer site, well, that's gone from 30% to 44%, which now means it's twice as likely to convert a prospect into a lead than email is. So we've got our lead. Now, how do we convert that into a sale? Well, this report reveals all. Now, this report's actually a bit more bespoke as it outlines exactly what we are selling, which in this case is travel insurance for extended stays. So what are we looking at? Well, if you look in the top left, we've got a bar chart which is showing us the top countries we've sold travel insurance for. And if you move along ever so slightly, We've got a donor which is showing us the breakdown of sales volume by product. And if you keep moving along, we've got our policy value which is broken down into currencies. And if you look at the bottom right, we can compare our policy value to our sales volume day by day. And here we've got another map, except this time it's showing us our sales volume. On top of that, it can also distinguish our product categories as well. And once again, we've got a whole host of important numbers and figures. This time ranging from our lead to sale conversion rate to the number of lives we've actually got insured. Let's have a bit of an investigation. Let's say we want to know how best to sell French travel insurance. Well, if we just click here, then we can focus in on just France. So let's try and have a look around the report and see what some of the key differences are. As you can see, the average age we've sold to, well, that's jumped up to 50. And the average policy value, well, that's increased as well. But what's really interesting is if we go and have a look at the products. World Club 4 which isn't a big hitter around the world. 
Well, that sells really well for France Travel Insurance. In fact, you can see the majority of our sales have actually been for French Travel Insurance. Thank you very much for listening. And if you'd like to find out more, please get in touch.